Today I'm going to be showing you how to dump your 3DS games as a 3DS or CIA file and how to dump your DS games as a NDS file so that you can have your own digital version of the game to play on console or emulator. And for the record, 3DS games can be played using the Citra emulator and DS games can be played with the Desumi emulator. All you need for this guide is a 3DS or 2DS modded with Luma custom firmware, which if you haven't done that yet, you can get started by checking out my 3DS homebrew video in the top right. And lastly, you need your physical copy of your favorite 3DS or DS games like I have here. What can I say? I like Mario Kart so these are the games I'm going to be dumping today. So we'll get started with our 3DS games first. If you're here just for DS games then check the timestamp in the bottom of the video but it, go ahead and insert your game and when you power on your device we're gonna hold the start button so hold start and power on and this should lead us into God Mode 9 if you get this screen like I did right now just press A on God Mode 9 and this should load. Quick reminder, don't let your 3DS die during the God Mode 9 processes. And once you're on this screen, we're going to navigate down to Game Cart, press A, and this will take a couple seconds, so don't worry if it takes a little longer than what you expect. And here on this page, we're going to go click on the Trim.3DS. This is a smaller version of your game. As you can see, the .3ds file is one gigabyte and the trim is 0.6 gigabytes. So we're gonna get the trim. There's no difference between the files, so it just makes sense to get the smaller one. So press A on that file and on the bottom screen, you'll see these options. In order to back it up, just go down to copy to gm9 slash out. Press A and it will copy the file and the larger the game the longer it'll take mario kart 7 takes about five minutes or so so i'll meet you back when it is transferred onto our sd card and it is completed as i mentioned before it is now in your gm9 folder and then in an out folder so press a to continue and now to double check that you'll be on this screen after for whichever game you wanted to back up press b and you can double check by going up to sd card Go down to your GM9 folder, out, and there it is. Now right now, this backup is a .3ds file, but if you would prefer a .cia file, all you gotta do is make sure it's highlighted, as you can see, make sure it's white, select it, and we'll be back to this screen where we can have NCSD image options, click on that, and you can build a CIA from this file right here. You can also do this directly from the game cart if you prefer that way instead. But I figured I would give you guys the heads up that you can also get the CIA version. So now before we transfer this onto our computer, I will back up a DS game. So if you guys are doing both, let's head back, press the home button for the action menu and just power off your system. And now it's time to back up our DS game. So let's put that one in, close it up. And we're going to do the same thing when we start our device. We're going to hold the start button. We'll go back into God Mode 9. Press A if you get the same screen as I have right now. And once you are back on this screen, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the 3DS. So go down on the top screen to Game Cart. Make sure it's highlighted in white. Press A. And we will have a couple different options here. As you can see, there's a .NDS and a trim.nds. So the trim versions work fantastic for the 3DS versions, but not so much for DS. So we're gonna get the actual .nds file. So select that one, and this screen will come up, and we're gonna go down to the bottom and copy to gm9 slash out. So just select that one, and it will begin the process. DS games are very much smaller than 3DS, so it really won't take long at all. It will take about the same time as it will take for me to tell you to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe for future modding videos, and if you guys want to set up your emulators, well, I'm your guy. You can check out my videos on my channel as well. Okay, that was close. Two seconds, one. There we go, we are completed. So just press A to continue. It's just confirming it is in GM9 slash out. Press A and I'll show you where it is. So we'll be on this one, back out and go up to SD card. Go down to GM9, out. And there it is. So we have our DS game there as well, along with our 3DS game. So now we have our game dumps. Now we need to access them on our computer. So there's two ways to do this. You can do them by taking your SD card out 
and placing it in your computer that's what i do it's pretty simple but if you don't have that option for example if you don't have a sd card reader with your computer that's what i use uh, there's a wireless option if you use ftpd on your 3ds but that's a little bit more of a process so i'm going to be doing it the easy way so i'm going to hit the home button power off my system close it take my sd card out and place it into my computer. Yes, I know it's dusty, leave me alone. All right, and over on your computer, open up your SD card, and I think it's worth mentioning or reminding that you should have your file extensions viewable, so click view, go down to show, and make sure there's a check on file name extensions. But now to access your game backups, go into GM9, out, and here they are. So now we can simply grab them and place them onto your computer. So now that I have them backed up on my computer, I no longer need these, so I'm gonna delete them from my SD card. And now I can do whatever I want with these games right here. And as for the 3DS game, I would highly recommend renaming it. So I'm gonna rename mine to Mario Kart 7. So it's Mario Kart 7.3DS file. The DS game has the name in it, so not a big deal there. But now you can play them in your emulators, and if you don't have Citra or Dasumi set up, well, check out my videos. I'll put them on the screen right now, so you can head over there to set those emulators up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>